Hi, I want to show you how easy it is to use intercompany processing in Dynamics GP. Intercompany processing allows you to move costs from one company to another company. You can use the general ledger transaction or the payables transaction. It's really quite easy to set up and quite easy to use. So let's take a look at it. The first thing you'll want to do is set up the intercompany processing module. To do that, let's go to the administration area page here and then go to the intercompany bring up this window here and in this window I define the relationships between one company and another company so let's take a look at Fabricam I'll bring that up I've got a number of companies in my system I already have a, a relationship with American Distribution so let's look at that and what I'm doing here is I'm setting up accounts I'm setting up due to and due from accounts that will be used when transactions are processed in either Fabricam or American Distribution by having intercompany set up this way, I make sure that the ledgers in both companies are balanced and also that I can easily identify where that money is coming from and where it is owed. So here you can see a typical setup. I've got due to and due from in each company. Let's take a look at some descriptions here. You'll notice that there's an originating company and a destination company. The originating company is the company in which the transaction is starting. Maybe you're doing a journal entry to move some money from company a, which would be the originating company, to company B, the destination company. Or perhaps you're putting in an accounts payable entry. The invoice will be in the company A, the originating company, and it will distribute some of the charges, if not all of them, to the destination company. So that's the nomenclature right there. And that's all we need to do to set up the intercompany processing module. So we'll save that. So now let's go ahead and enter a transaction. We'll use the general journal entry. Let's open that up and there's two things you have to do. You have to check the intercompany box here and you also have to put your transaction into a batch and post it in a batch. So let's put a batch in there and then we can proceed to enter a transaction. So I've entered a reference and now we can start entering the distributions. You can see that the company ID is 2. This is the originating company. So I'm going to look up an account for the originating company and let me find a miscellaneous account here. I'll put that in and I'm going to take $3,500 out of that account and move it over to the American Distribution account. Let me open up this grid here and now I'm going to select a different company ID. This is going to be the destination company ID. So let's take a look up. I've got a number of companies here. Let me select this one here. These are all the companies in my system that have a reference between Fabricam and that particular company. So I'm going to select the IST, the American Distribution Company, and then I'm going to look up the account in that chart of accounts. So when I click on the lookup, I'm looking at the chart of accounts in the destination company. Let me find the, trend, the account that I want. There it is. I'm going to put the offsetting debit into that account. So now let's save this transaction into the batch and then we'll take a look at it. I'll print out the edit list and we'll take a look at that. And what we'll see is not only the transaction that we just entered, but we'll see the offsetting transactions that are created by the intercompany module. Here you see a debit to the destination company DIST. We looked up this account. Here the due to Fabricam and the due from American Distribution down here in this transaction were automatically created by the intercompany setup. So here you can see my entire transaction. So when I post this, it's going to post in Fabricam. It's also going to create a transaction in the destination company American Distribution and we'll take a look at that. So this ensures that my both companies have a balanced general ledger. So let's go ahead and post that right now. Remember, we have to put these transactions into a batch. So I'm going to save it in the batch and then post that particular batch. All right, so now let's move over to the American Distribution Company. So I'm in the company. Let's take a look at that general ledger transaction. And here it is right here. Now this is the transaction that was automatically created in Fabricam by the intercompany module. You can see it right here. It's in a batch. I can take the chance to review this if I want to. If it's okay, then I go ahead and post it. So this is a quick overview of how, of how easy it is to set the intercompany processing module in Dynamics GP and also use that trend module to process transactions.